So we are going to just solve this warning in React, which is validate DOM nesting, and we will see the concept of fragment in React to solve this warning. Okay, why this warning is coming? Because it is saying that TD cannot appear as child of DIB. Just go on here and see here. Just go an element, and here you will see here that we have TD. We have TD element here in this div element, so that's what this is saying that TD cannot appear as a child of div. Okay, so we have to get the read of this div to solve this warning. Okay, so come in your Visual Basic. When you are going to remove this div like this, then this is going to show an error, which is JSF expression must have one parent element. So in the place of div, you have to use fragments. So what is fragment? So fragments let you add the children element without adding extra nodes to DOM. Means fragment is just in invisible. Just use the fragment to get more clear. React dot fragment and put this description table description in this React dot fragment. Okay. Just save it and come here in the console. Okay, let's see here we have no not any error. Come here in element here tier and here you could see here that we have not any div tag here and we have not any tag here. So that's what the fragment is. Here we are returning multiple tag in the return with the use of this fragment and this fragment is not displaying here. That's the magic of fragment here. You could also use nothing here and like this and just save it and come here and see here in element nothing here and all is same like previous and no error. So that's what the magic of react.fragment instead of using div you could use this here empty tag or react.fragment. In react.fragment you could pass an an argument called key like suppose we have a variable here let's make a variable here okay we have a variable here now come here jordan dot maps and here in react dot fragment just pass here anything here like here this is react tutorial And here you could use as an argument called key like this. And call this ob.id 